to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. The price of intimacy. There are certain things about intimacy I want us to understand. Number one, please, I'm taking out time to just, I want us to understand this thing. Intimacy takes time. You cannot know a man, a woman, you are unwilling to spend time with. No, sir. Intimacy is a product of time. You don't give God five minutes and get Benny Hinn's encounter. Please. God is not that cheap, my brother, my sister. Listen to me. You need to spend time. He must mean a lot to you. Number two, God must become priority to have intimacy with him. The Bible says, don't cast your pearl before swine. I've said it. You don't come to someone's house and then he takes you to his bedroom. Shows you where he keeps money no sir when you come sometimes you will even stand at the gate sometimes you will enter and stay inside sometimes you will stay at the parlor you will not even have access to the kitchen but there are certain people while all that is happening the child can run and even enter the bedroom the price for intimacy i look at the lives of people believers yes we are born again Yes, we are filled with the Holy Spirit. But when I look at our lives, I don't see priority. Passion for God is contagious. When a brother likes a lady, no matter how he tries to hide it, his roommate will know. Is that true? <sighs> the roommate will say, you just spoke to five people, but this sixth person, the joy at which you used to call that lady, this joy is not natural. Correct? You are hugging everybody after service. And then the way you hug that lady, the brother said, this hug is too generous for just brotherly kindness. No. What is, there's more to this. I say it's true. I've been looking at her. Passion. Passion has a presence. Don't lie to us that you love God when we cannot see the passion. Passion has a presence. I hunger and thirst for you. Drag and live in land for I want to see. I hunger and thirst for you. I hunger and thirst for you. In a dry and weary land for all I want. The third key I'm sharing with you for intimacy to be established one is you must be ready to invest your time you give God five minutes of your time you get five minutes worth of knowledge second is priority third is your willingness to lay down ha. The, the Bible calls it the power to lay down this is where some of you will not like me now this is where many believers will not like me now because our generation has been indoctrinated that you can eat your cake and have it no sir go and ask anybody even an occultist you don't eat your cake and have it you cannot know god without a sacrifice i'm not talking money a sacrifice fasting is a sacrifice Prayer is a sacrifice. Are we together? Studying the Bible is a sacrifice. 
we don't like this language at all yet we want power we want results sacrifice there are times that on account of your intimacy with god you just want to eat and the word of the lord comes to you go on a three-day fast oh god which breakthrough is coming now god said this is not issue of breakthrough you are about i'm about to reveal i'm about to open you up to certain encounters and i said god this is not flamboyant enough if that you told me that i after this three days fast land will manifest from anywhere and come it's a worthy investment to fast but wh why will i fast to know you what is the big deal about you when i'm looking for land and god will say you see it you see your heart Pastor Alpha, hold my hands again. Everybody says sacrifice. I am amazed at the difficulty that believers go through to lay down the slightest thing. Slightest thing. So this suit, you discuss with God for one year before it leaves. You are carnal and you don't love him. It's the truth. Empty your account. I curse that, that devil. You argue for two years first and finish the money till 10,000. I say, God, I will lay it down. God says, just leave. I will tell you when to do it again. Are you willing to lay down? Jesus said, I have the power to lay down. Let me show you maturity in the spirit. When a man has gotten to a point where there is nothing you cannot lay down. Abraham, take now thy son, thy only son whom thou lovest many of us will agree to fast for 400 days than to lay down something for him everybody say sacrifice 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 when god makes that demand that you are willing to sacrifice you will know him let me tell you i submit to you with all humility this man standing before you is a testimony of sacrifice Ask God, there is nothing I cannot lay down for him. Oh, it's a joke. Before he finishes talking, it will go. I have exercised myself to see the vanity of anything outside of God. You must lay down. The Bible says, love not the world. Usually, it's those who hate money that preach that message. No. It's all those who are poor and broke. They preach it as a consolation to their poverty no sir you should not preach that message until you are really rich love not the world or the things that are in the world if any man loves the world he didn't say don't have those things an affinity to it god gave you a car and the car took his place god gave you a wife and the wife took his place god gave you children they took his place god gave you a, a job paying six figures and he lost you in that job is god speaking to someone here god increase your cgpa and that's the end of it god connected you to a good brother a good sister god gave you a business idea and with that idea he lost you no sir no sir sacrifice the lord for as long as i live in life and in death you remain my priority and that if need I will lay aside anything if god tells me lay aside koinonia now brothers and sisters is with tears we we'll hold the last valedictory service i will hold the last service i don't care what prophet comes from where and says apostle i think you are not hearing god well i will apologize when god changes his mind but for now koinonia closed apostle what do you do with the life you are blessing i don't know as the one who sent me but koinonia closed there is a way you can do ministry. You have carried your reputation and your life and added to it. When God says shift left, God says, and then leave me where? Are we together? I want you to look at your life now. Let me show you why money is not coming to your life. Leave, leave business. We are coming there. But we are examining why there are some of us, regardless of our prayer, Satan enters our life anyhow. Do you know why? because the lust in your heart needs to be purged beyond imagination your attachment to things you god would dare not make a demand of anything what sort of thing is that who gave you the life 
many of you would have noticed that from august august till now i'm not sure i've gone from over four ministrations cancelled almost everything it's just been maybe one or two ministrations per month and the rest very unusual because that's the instruction god gave and i said that's it let me tell you there are certain people that i would have wanted to be in their meetings with all my heart but i love god there's nothing i know that moves the heart of god than him seeing something you ordinarily love but you say lord it is for you he says that's it this is what i'm looking for if this handkerchief is five naira and i tell you i brought this handkerchief from the uk are we together i bought it whatever amount one pound and i carried it from the uk and i brought they wanted to collect it but i hid it back immigration wanted to harass me but i said this is for you if i give you will you give somebody for one thousand it's not about the sacrifice have increased the value of it there is no rising in the spirit when you are holding on to everything jealousy anger Huh? all kinds of things please let's re-examine these things if we really want results god declared that it's a year of triumph but it's your heart with him it's your heart with him apostle all i want is just pray for me let a husband come keep quiet oh sister and listen to what i'm telling you because it's not just the issue of pray for husband god has already seen the wickedness in your heart and god is saying no way you must love me first before I carry my son that I've labored on to carry and give you. Oh God, just bless me. I need to be a millionaire. I've seen this thing in my dream and God said, if you don't listen to my servant, you will, it will remain in the dream there. It takes hunger for God. How many people have made money and left God? Have you seen people like that? anybody that says money does not give you an option is a poor and a broke person who doesn't know anything about money because when you have money there are few things you will pray about correct many prayer requests are tied to finances and let me be honest with you there is a level in your life that you get to where you don't think about money again you may not have everything but you get to a point where all your basic needs can be met to the degree you want them to be met. At that point, that's how you see how carnal and mundane your heart is. Because there's nothing else. I understand praying for six hours because of the emergency that is on you. But when his majesty has lifted your life beyond certain realms, that's when you will know and prove whether he's really Lord in your life. My number one prayer to God every time is oh god for as long as i live may nothing win my heart so much enough to be able to push you and say god wait behind just because a door of ministry was open wait behind oh god benny Hinn is calling me wait behind billy graham gave me the privilege to see him before he dies wait behind Bill Gates just called me and he said he wants to bless a man of God on earth and favor located me. No, sir. No, sir. Lord, make me your priority. Make me your priority. Make me your priority. This was the secret of David. Make me your priority. Priority means you mean the world to me. You mean the world to me. Brothers and sisters, get my passion for God. I pray that God will, will, whatever it is that God did to me, I pray that it will happen to you. Because if truly speaking, you want to do business with God, you must love him beyond things. Things. Beyond things. Beyond things. I love him with all my heart. I love him. My heart is open before him. He's the God of my salvation. I love him with all my heart. I will lay down anything for him. Anything. Anything. I really mean it. I really mean it. Don't think I'm just talking. I fear God. I will lay down anything. Reputation, nonsense. If you can lay down anything in his presence, 
and go down on your knees and say lord this is for you i lay down my pride i lay down my achievements oh i have a phd in so 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 and so just calm down first oh lord i hand it over to you there's nothing god loves like surrender 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 it's yours that's a language that is music to his ears the anointing lord you gave me is yours the grace you gave me is yours and while people are clapping for you in the open apostle joshua selman you come before him and say lord without you i can go nowhere else ah, but apostle tell the truth as anointed as you are without you hmm. the wife of david looked at him and said you are dancing you are you are you are misrepresenting yourself you don't know you are a king before god and david said me you don't know my track record with this god i've told god one day to me leaving you please if it means me taking my life let it be that i didn't finish my assignment but that you remain my priority i surrender all everything i give to you i'm withholding nothing listen to the song before you sing it lord i surrender to you everything I give to you. I'm withholding nothing. Mm. Withholding Listen. Nothing. The key to dying, killing your reputation, and the, the key to entering your rest is to hand over your life to God. I don't have any reputation, no brothers and sisters. My reputation is God. You know, there are times that sometimes I chat with the media people and they tell me, you know, someone, all these people that write all kinds of things, sometimes they send mails, sometimes sarcasm, people say all kinds of things. I say, Apostle, your reputation, and I laugh. I say, ah, reputation died since when? If I had a reputation of my own, wouldn't I be under pressure right now? Let me tell you what is causing stress. The fight to protect our reputation. That's it so that people will not think i'm poor let me prove a point and god is saying what point come on to me come on to me i need people to know that me i'm not i'm not just a i'm not i'm not a poor man i i need to go and buy a trouser and god says no i am your reputation i am your inheritance listen let me teach you people the secret of rest there are many pastors wearing themselves out i need crowd so that they will know that me too i'm anointed if if a man can receive nothing except it is given to him from god i learn to rest in him he truly is my rest <laughs> it's my rest that's why the ministry has been designed in such a way that whether i'm here or not god will be glorified it can't be around me no sir if i die now god forbid ah yes you will just cry for seven days you will try to pray and raise me back to life maybe two or three days after three days i guarantee you'll be tired small and you just say oh, what do we do they say let's just give god pray somebody will have a dream and see me say please bury me jerry and leave me in peace ah but he said you will not die while you are talking all that nonsense i'm in heaven happy and rejoicing and looking at you and saying instead of crying for me you better go and listen to my messages and make a meaning out of your life for for me to live is christ but to die is gain look at the stress that is killing you is it not because of ego talk to me 90 percent of the depression that is killing us in this life is an attempt to protect our image we say i need to guard my image. what nonsense image ask a man who built an image that god smashed into pieces he built 90 feet of his image protected by bowing down god says no 
but those who enter the fire to protect the image of God God says I come to protect you brothers and sisters I give you an advice carry your reputation like a sacrifice hand it over to God and enter your rest this night this is a deliverance for someone now is that true yes the 40,000 house rent is killing you you don't have the money but to go and meet your friend and squat you are saying no i need them to know please enter your rest back out of that place and go and give yourself peace instead of dying to maintain your reputation they've been seeing me wearing only one shoe i need to get another one nobody has been seeing you people have their problems it is your it is your your the punishment that comes from not handing over everything to god i like you to pray as you are seated and say lord i am tired of carrying a load you told me to give you i hand it over apostle but people are always asking me when will i marry it will kill you don't let depression kill you hand everything over to god and enter your sabbath enter your rest a man can receive nothing until it is given to him from god pray lord make me your priority i'm willing to commit time to knowing you i'm willing to commit to surrender everything and make you a priority this obsession i have for marriage this obsession for children this obsession for job this obsession for power this obsession for ministry and rema and miracles is taking your place return back to your throne oh god if this is all i share tonight is worth it where would i be if you left me now where would i be if you left me now where would i be that's my testimony if you left you waited you Listen, where would I be if he left me? This song means a lot to me because you see, brothers and sisters, he is the invisible force behind men who command results. You don't see him, you only see them. So chances are that they are the ones who you can shake. They are the ones who you can sow to. But every great man knows that behind him is an invisible and mighty God. Unmovable. I may shake, but he's unmovable, unshakable. But the people that do know their God shall defy status quo. They shall be strong and they shall do exploits the first prize we are revisiting the mysteries that make for greatness brothers and sisters let's return to the place of intimacy let's return to the place of intimacy this is a call return to the place of intimacy spend time with God draw strength from him talk to him don't hide anything from him open your all to him it will be foolish and silly to hide anything from him. Everything. Carry your pain. Carry your tears. Learn to spend time with God alone. Hold on please. There are some of you, as I look at you, you don't yet have the passion for God to go on a personal retreat. No. No. You are churchy, you love God, you don't drink, you don't steal, you don't womanize, you don't follow men, but you don't love God. You can't go by yourself and lock your house and say, please, I need to spend time. Some of you, the last time you did this was a long time ago. Ministry, carried its place in your life. Listen, 
you must learn the power of retreating even if it's just for a day do it lock yourself lord i come before you you are the god of my strength i am open and naked before you these are my crowns these are my pains i bring them before you and you fellowship with him and he talks to you ah my son i love you correct this add this to your life i'm introducing this begin to see things this way and you come out of there with fire and grace and people look at you and your life is an unending compendium of wonder wonder unfolding when a man gasses out it's a sign that he has left the secret place in a long time freshness is one of the characteristics of the secret place look at me whether you are working class or you are a student you are a father you are a mother you are a husband or a wife i like you to write it if you are writing i must create time alone underline alone with god mog create time more with god because all you have to serve the people is what you receive in the secret thank you jesus that's how it works you want to experience a, a life of unending victory it starts that way it starts that way it always starts with him not principles we're coming to principles but him not just an encounter an encounter can be a one-time experience but intimacy is fellowship is partnership staying remaining with him where he becomes your priority sister a brother comes into your life and meets you madly in love with god he won't do anyhow to you like that because he met when he meets you idol uh, idol carelessly moving around waiting for a man that's when he does everything for you he comes to find you in worship can we see by this time oh i would love to but i, I need to spend some time with god ah which god so, well that's that's what i do i buy yourself you are behaving as if you're a child and you, you just see that as a sign from god that this is going to be a wicked husband you don't need to go and ask god again whether he's the will of god god answered you there your passion forced an answer from him are we together i love god i love jesus i love him I like you to pray and say lord help me love you help me love you genuinely the price of intimacy the price of intimacy the price of intimacy let no westernization preach you out of this my brother my sister the price of intimacy let education not preach you out of this let a job let money let marriage let children not preach you out of this way before ministry was he was and he is and will ever be in the beginning god in the beginning god in the beginning god I must become alpha and no man of your life for anything in between to make sense. Please pray. Oh, I re I reestablish my covenant of intimacy. For Jesus, you're the cup that will run dry. Yes, you are the cup that will run dry. Other things may run dry. Jesus, you're the cup that will run dry. Not in my life. Jesus, you're the cup that will run dry. Hold on. It's impossible to marry a bad woman. When your heart is connected to God, you attract what looks like you. 
you will leave God and you are doing all kinds of rubbish. The devil will bring Jezebel to your life that will tear your head and tear your anointing into pieces. It's impossible to marry a bad man. All these men that drive you to church, they leave you somewhere. Sisters, I'm talking to you. They all go and do koinonia. Pray for us, oh Mother Teresa. As soon as they are rounding up, they are there by that place where they are selling something. They are waiting for you. They pick you and say, I love you. Nonsense. Let me deliver you now. If there are such kind of people in your life, you better send them a text and tell them, get out of my life so that God himself will bring my husband or my wife. Hallelujah. Anybody that hates your God and likes you is a liar. No, sir. You come under my roof, you serve what I'm serving. You serve who I'm serving. You can't be under my roof and have your own rules. No, sir. It is from your intimacy you will raise your children. You can't give what you don't have. It is from your intimacy as a pastor. Let me tell you, when you love God and you hunger after him, that fire, con the people catch that fire and they love God too. You tell people to fast, you are eating secretly. You buy fish, you buy yam, you buy whatever. People are laboring and they are fasting. You will eat and belch and dress and come and round up the meeting. Intimacy. Intimacy. I'd like you to think in one minute. What is that one thing? That is currently fighting the position of God in my life. Think, don't pray. Think, what is it? What is that one thing that if God makes a demand now, honestly, I can't give it? What is it? Some of us is our reputation. I keep talking about this reputation. My class, I am this, I am that. The power of my hand. Hey. I have seen mighty people fall like a leaf overnight because God they ignored God's assistance in their life. You can be a CEO of XYZ today and be a billionaire and crash back to zero. Is God waking somebody up today? Please return to the secret place. Return to the place where he is priority. Return to the age-long and age-old mystery of retreats. Where you take periodic times out with God. And just spend and cry before him. And say, Lord, thank you. That you fast for 100 days does not mean you love God. It can just mean that you are a strong person. Congratulations for that. But it's not equal to intimacy. You're all I want. You're all I've ever needed. You're all I want. Help me know. you to hold the hand of your neighbor and pray for him and say lord keep your love burning in him keep your love burning in her don't pray for yourself pray for your neighbor lord keep your love burning that's the investment of prayer i'm making for my neighbor whether you're a newcomer or not lord keep your let my neighbor prioritize you my neighbor loves you but you are not such a big deal to him or to her but lord walk on his heart tonight walk on her heart tonight hallelujah hallelujah are you blessed are you blessed these are the mysteries let me teach you one more hmm. the second prize that i want to teach you tonight 
wherever we stop we'll pray we'll continue next week i'm taking this thing because i really want us to understand the second price is the price of submission to authority listen the price of submission to authority write it down mm. the price the embarrassing ego stinging but destiny molding price of submission to authority the mysteries that turn people's lives into wonders the price of submission to authority hmm. nobody promotes himself in this kingdom you cannot promote yourself you cannot accredit yourself nobody makes himself a professor nobody makes himself a doctor is that true pastor alpha you have supervisors correct mm -hmm. no student marks his project and say i passed correct no in the kingdom listen the system of rising is such that it's not only god that approves you alone men must approve you if not you will never rise listen to me your approval is not just in the hands of god alone it's in the hands of men too mm. jesus knew this that's why he had to look for john the baptist what will the son of god be doing the son of god look for john the baptist for what for what the word that created the heavens and the earth searches for john the baptist when john sees him himself he says behold the lamb that's enough to make his head big and say oh so you know then it means i will go back he said no suffer it to be so it's an ordinance it's a secret permit it to be so i know that i created you but suffer it to be so that all scriptures will be fulfilled that there be no legal basis for my remaining small listen i know that god has approved you but have men approved you you will think it does not matter go and find out those who made kings in the bible whether the spirit appeared as a ghost god chose them men anointed them kings is it in your bible how god anointed jesus but did, did it come like that no samuel how long will you weep over saul seeing that i rejected him go and take your horn i want to use david but you have refused to cooperate with me i have approved him from heaven but david cannot rise because the man that will pour the oil and approve him refused God approves a man as a king and on earth the authority to accredit him is still negotiating and because of that that person remains grounded listen Saul the son of Kish was looking for his father's donkey when he met an authority that could approve and he called him he said come go up I will tell you what is in your heart and all of a sudden he anointed Saul and poured oil on him and his life changed whoever lied to you that when you say to hell with men you will prosper the Bible says believe in the Lord your God you want to be established wonderful but if you want to make it in this life brothers and sisters you must submit to God's scriptural pattern of authority your alignment to God's scriptural chain of authority decide how and what flows to you your alignment to god's scriptural chain of authority determines how and what flows to you there are prophets in the bible who were preordained by god to be prophets there were other prophets who were made prophets nowhere in the bible it was never written that they should be prophets amos was not a prophet he was a farmer he was an agriculturist 
but a man saw him and made him a prophet elisha was not a prophet oh i hope you know that when elijah took his girdle and slapped it on elisha while he was farming elisha started following him the result was that he became a prophet agabus a man in the bible called agabus who gave birth to daughters the bible never tells us that they were serious spiritually but because they were born they came out of a loin the loins of a man who for whatever reason was a prophet the old daughters were prophets too your submission to authority is a mystery that governs promotion ask anybody who is honest enough to admit and tell them the day they began to discern authority what happened in their lives that's why you see those who dishonor the body of christ will never rise you've heard me say this all those who make it a point of duty they insult every man of god they insult every church once it's not your pastor everybody is an object of there is a sin that you can do against the body of christ a man cannot just sin against god alone you can sin against the body of christ and the bible says jealousy is the rage of a man i cannot come and insult a jimmy's wife and expect him to smile the first understanding of authority is your submission to the body not just to man of god not just to spiritual fatherhood your submission to the body the multifaceted dimension of god that is scattered in the body your ability to acknowledge that the body of christ is a compendium of infinite possibilities regardless of what your unique biases are when you love the body you are ready to access the deep things in the spirit god will never do business with you when you hate his body there are people who are fasting giants but their cynicism against the body mention any name of any man of god they have something to say mention it, they, that attitude of sarcasm and they wonder why regardless of fasting and prayer nothing comes the body the bible says for this cause not discerning the body many are weak for this cause many are sick this cause many do sleep as a ministry we have clearly defined our position over the body i love the body of christ you will never hear me open my mouth and talk about any man of god and any ministry it doesn't mean i believe everything i have my reservations but i love the body a wounded bride is still a bride if a woman injures her hand on her wedding day does it stop her from marrying that woman you insult every time called the church is someone's wife submission to the body submission to the body that you discern that this body of Christ is a compendium of possibilities the blessing of God always comes to you through alignment to authority. The blessing of God, please everyone listen. The blessing of God will always come to your life through alignment. Write this down. I learned this from Dr. Mike Mudok. The primary purpose of authority is provision, protection, and promotion. Write it down. The primary purpose of authority, the primary purpose of authority is provision, protection, and promotion. Provision. When you submit to authority, you have access to the promotion that that authority commands. When you submit to authority, you have access to the protection. We call it a covering. And when you submit to authority, you have access to promotion. 
Are we blessed? You can never promote yourself. You can never accredit yourself. Listen. When you see people submit to authority. Let me tell you why people hate submission. Come Pastor Alpha. There are many people what they are doing is pseudo submission. You know what we call pseudo submission? One leg in, one leg out. You are not exactly there but you are just there. Who is this guy? Well, he's a very he's a senior colleague. He's just a brother there. You are you are you would never rise that way. No way. God is not a fraud star. You are in it or you are out. I will never forget a gentleman who walked up to me one day and said, "Sir, I've been looking at you as if he's toasting me. I've been watching you. I've been watching your life, sir. And uh, you know, I just feel I need to come close to you. I told this get out of here. Don't don't waste my time." go and walk on your pride in the secret place when your discernment is complete and you understand that not all human beings are pure human beings then when you submit to a man you don't submit to a body you submit to a system are we together if you fly a plane somebody drives it even if it is your jet somebody drives it the jet is guaranteed to carry you but not everybody will be a driver that's how it is in life listen no matter how you fear God and no matter how you love God there are things that you will get based on connection you will pray in the secret place God will refer you to his structure the Bible says the church was built in a very strange way. It says Christ being the chief cornerstone. After that, he said it was on the foundation of the apostles and the prophets. Not just by name. Then the body was built. There are certain graces when you don't encounter in your life, you will never rise. I know this looks like human worship. But these are the secrets that other people who are not very smart, they just know how to encounter it. The body of Christ do you have that discernment I've shared with you how we receive the grace for long life we transported the grace of for long life officially and brought it to this ministry yeah I know how we got it when we stopped at that place that border between Quara state and equity state there is a strange mystery that goes on there 142 132 125 healthy ah we stopped quickly we went to the baba there we said sir there is a grace for long life here we wanted the man laugh he said kneel down he didn't say are you a pastor because when you go as a pastor you stay outside when you submission demands a stripping of whatever robe or regalia and a an acknowledgement that's what we did on a very good day he says sir i'm just returning from a ministry where there are miracles baba do you know me cannot even speak english we got we had to look for an interpreter and he spoke kneel down jerry young people we knelt down and this man began to speak i told you i met the wife of the 132 year old man who died i think she was like maybe 120 something you would think she's 60 and I told her, I said, ah, when the woman saw, she tapped me. She said, follow me. I didn't care where I was going. No, no matter what I saw, I would stay there. Because I know what brought me there. If I was cynical, I said, madam, where are you taking me? I'm a born again believer. No, go there first. She showed me the picture of her youth with the one 32 year old man. Afterwards, we told her that they prayed for us. But since you are the wife, two have become one. The man is dead, you are alive, so he's still alive. And the woman removed her shoes. Said, kneel down. Ah, what do you think I'll do? Hey. Submission. Submission. Let me tell you what many of us will do. <laughs> Mama, just pray. Is that kneeling down? That's pride. You are not receiving a sword. Kneel down. One of the biggest enemy of submission is that we think submission is a way of demeaning our own self. Now, truly speaking, do you know there are people who do that? 
they purposely demean you in the name of submission that's wrong there are insecure men and women of God scouting around for anybody they can call son or daughter to increase their accolades not because they understand what they have and they will purposely humiliate you especially in the open to show look Jesus was with the people who were submissive to him but you did not even know who Jesus was they had to use a kiss to identify him I choose to be like him you don't have to move around and when people are there you say yeah pastor Alpha, shift let them know I'm the one <laughs> when they know you can come back I watch people who hate submission having passion for sons and daughters they hate submission they hate acknowledging authorities they come for a meeting and see a, a man of God that deserves honor uh, all protocols duly observed ah pastor Femi, hi is that greeting that is that is that is the attitude of pride that drives grace down look if you are anointed you are anointed it's as simple as that if it's not there it's not there are we together authority i can share with you encounters after encounters one of the things i love about the leaders and the people in this ministry and that's why you see that many of them have been able to reproduce this grace is because they understand submission truly speaking i tell you i am very proud of the workers in this ministry i am proud of the heads of department they understand submission submission is not a way of managing a man of god's insecurity listen never form a team where the loyalty of the people is questionable let me give you an advice if i want to create come 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 darling if i want to establish a company come one two three four if i notice your loyalty is questionable i will sack you what wait wait oh but you are you are gifted just carry your gift and go away with it you only deal ruthlessly with rebellion listen i'm telling you people will interpret it as insecurity but it is irresponsible for a leader to see rebellion and let it go deal with it are we together yes i will not let anybody to be close to me who does not listen to me and acknowledge the authority of the lord of or on my life over him i will not i don't hate you i won't fight you but you certainly will not be close to me you know why because you will not receive and you will corrupt the passion of others from coming to receive because they will say you are close why are you not getting this result i says yeah this thing is it not we that are close to them we 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 that are if me i'm close like this have you ever seen me heal the sick so you should be doubting and I say, ah, you mean it that anointing is for i didn't say he's fake oh i only said am i not close to him why has it not come on me take those kind of people out of your life i'm i'm talking to you sincerely take them out of your life anybody that comes close to you as I, I don't mean everybody but as somebody a man of God or somebody that God has lifted to a measure not all of them will submit to you in terms of fatherhood but they should be able to acknowledge what God is doing in your life enough to listen when there is time to listen are we together now yes. if you're in worship team here and your music director is talking to you and say sir like I read in the book mm -mm, keep quiet you do it again you do it tomorrow if i'm you he will never sing here again no way it's more than holding the mic and a good voice you don't listen that's how one day they'll say sing after two times transpose and you invent your own everybody transposes only you and you are just dancing because people are clapping you are dancing and you mess up team spirit only happens when there is an agreement to submit are you listening to what i'm saying that's why many people never rise All blessings come they flow from a scriptural chain of authority a few weeks ago pastor Alpha went to stand in for me for a meeting and a number of our people and after the meeting, one of the mothers there sent me a text and say apostle 
you have reproduced yourself verbatim in these people and i smiled i said they deserve it they deserve it one of our dear ones here when he was in the school of ministry you know this was somebody that god helped and one time he went towards their graduation time he went to minister somewhere and my goodness it was an experience there was such an avalanche of the presence and the power of god and he returned back he was saying ah this and that and that and i told him when you listen and you submit you have it everybody say submission to authority learn it today learn it we have to stop here but if just doing these two things alone the the bible says god called abraham he says a lot went with him is that in your bible lord did what he didn't say abraham said lord let's go lord said i'm going i'm sure abraham said you better go back and lord went with him god called elijah and elisha went with him elisha had sons of the prophets who paid school fees and they were receiving lectures from a lecturer but elisha said since i didn't pay anything i will humble myself and follow he was the one who poured water on the hands of elisha i'm not saying to compel people to worship you please don't do that and I, I know that the leaders in this ministry will not do that don't just make there are times that people do some unnecessary worship you know you have not gotten to the level that demands that you stop it consciously even as i am now there are things there are some mothers old enough to be my mother old enough more older than my mother they will see me and they want to kneel down i will be stupid at my age and level to allow a woman kneel down like that say she acknowledges me no if i try to carry her up and she refuses i kneel down with her too that's a wise person so fatherhood is not a way of massaging your ego to watch people worship you while they do it you make sure the crowd is watching no god will punish you for playing with people's lives like that but brothers and sisters there are mysterious benefits to submission one of it is the flow of grace one of it is the flow of grace believe this oh believe this pastor jimmy was telling me yesterday that he was talking with someone a meeting that i'm going for next year somewhere and then he was talking with the person the person had had me mention his name and he you know they got in touch and he was saying sir i've had apostle talk about you so so much and i was so touched yesterday he's just hearing it now hey, Jimmy was talking to me and he said that he told the man he said sir your life and your ministry is about to shift in a way that you will never imagine when he said it i looked at him i said this is somebody who is my friend he's so close to me but that ability to discern some of you you know why god never lets you come close to a man of god your proximity for familiarity your your propensity for familiarity is too bad are we together someone came one day to see me and when he came he saw me eating corn and he was laughing he needed a some and he saw me i was eating corn and he was talking he said yeah you should allow me eat before i pray for him I said, don't be foolish. Didn't you come for prayer? Does eating the corn, does anointing flow through corn or through whatever? If if you are coming to listen, keep quiet and listen. Otherwise, please walk out of here. You can be sleeping on the same bed with your miracle and lack of submission. There is no woman here who should refuse submitting to her husband any woman that refuses submitting to her husband i don't care whether the husband is a man of god or not listen ladies if you are about to get married make sure you are willing to submit to your husband i am not a i am i will not advocate oppressing women i don't do that but all this women alive movement and all this gender equality thing there is a balance to gender equality i don't oppress ladies I have a great deal of honor and respect for ladies but all this nonsense of what a man can do a woman can do also is is deception no i don't look down on women but the correct position of a woman's victory is under authority please learn this 
rebellious noisy mouthedies that cannot submit to authority have signed for a life of defeat and pain listen it's true submission to authority that was the problem with jezebel it was obvious i have submitted to her and not the other way around because it was her that was running the nation When he violated the law of submission, there was access to the serpent. God causes you to submit to protect you. I look at people who are in this ministry, but they are not really connected genuinely because I do not see the grace finding expression in their lives. There are people who have never come here. It's not about coming to lie down the altar necessarily. It's not even about sowing into the life of a man of God, carrying his handkerchief, carrying... Some of those things sometimes can just be ritualistic, really. But the truth of it is a connection. Connection is based... The Bible says as, as um, face answers to face. There is a connection. Genuine connection. Genuine honor, whether in the secret or in the open. You will never sometimes before your hands are ever laid on you you will walk in that grace and reproduce it verbatim why have you not entered certain breakthroughs that you see it is because submission is not genuine submission is not genuine praise the lord first fatherhood but then second a recognition of people that have gone ahead of you you notice sometimes when I'm counseling people, when someone comes, is talking about issue, finance, or breakthrough, or this, I say, please go to a Jimmy. Sometimes he, they can see a Jimmy laughing there, and they just go and stand. This guy, and I say, you remain poor and broke there because you are not willing to listen. This guy, you see, carries a strange grace for wealth and abundance. I've worked with a Jimmy for years. That grace on him came from his late mother. Yes. My first genuine watch, genuine watch, not all those things, genuine watch then, the mom gave me from UK. That watch never spoiled. I sold it painfully. Nobody invents mantles. They are transferred. So if you ever see it on someone, it left somewhere to come there. Don't trivialize it. The men may be young, but the mantles are ancient. It's like water. Please help. It's like water. Do you know the water on earth is older than everybody? It keeps recycling. That means somebody drank it. Abraham drank the water you are drinking. Isaac because it only recycles the crops can come out the corn I'm eating Abraham they eat it but the water in the sea oh no come on that's how mantles are this healing grace nobody invents it nobody even if you receive directly from God to you it was an encounter but when God shows you the dynamics it was a connection I've taught you on systems nobody will ever walk on pros in prosperity insulting kenneth copeland start from anywhere in the world the mantles keep connecting themselves until it gets to the final person kenneth copeland is not carrying a mantle of he is the system on earth to the body that represents that possibility you want to walk in the anointing and in the healing ministry start from any man of god you keep connecting until it gets to Benihin now, currently. You see that? You don't invent a road that has been found. There are people who are millionaires today, they are not smart. 90% of what we teach in business schools, they don't know anything about it. But they were just stupid enough to discern. There is an ancient mystery. I've shared with you my story. Remember the two women, Ejimi? that I bought sugar cane for. Two women that were wearing tattered dresses. I bought paid sugar cane for them. A woman that cannot afford 50 naira now blesses me and says, my son forever walk upon gold. That's what the woman told me. 
forever walk upon God. I believe I received a strange, I don't believe that woman was a pure human being. I believe they were angels in disguise. I don't believe that woman was a pure human being. I have had many encounters like that, but this one was strange. <sighs> My life opened overnight. The race is not to the swift. I'm showing you how these systems work in the kingdom. I've shared with you how I went to Canaan land to go and sow a seed to Bishop David Oedipo. When I finished all of that, I came out. When I came out, please help this lady. I came out. I, would, I had already been working in signs and wonders. Boarded flight by myself to go and sow a seed to a man of God. Most of you do it, but it's not genuine. You just do it for the sake of it. Listen. More greatness produced from alignment that it will be done from knowledge. More greatness will come from alignment in the days to come than it will come from knowledge. I will teach you about knowledge. I teach you about skill. But brothers and sisters, there are ancient dimensions that are not subject to just knowledge. You can enter a reality before your mind catches up. I remember when people, I didn't used to work very strongly in the prophetic. You no, know, here and there, God will help me, but it wasn't anything serious. I remember when I was browsing William Branham, people were lambasting that guy, saying nobody's carrying his anointing, nobody's carrying all these insults, they insult men of God. Be careful. I remember watching his video one night, early in the morning and i just sat down tears were rolling down my eyes i saw the humility and the compassion from that man i said how could people this guy was a thousand times more humble than me and yet people keep talking about him and all of a sudden i felt it was like something on my head it took like 30 minutes it was coming down the next meeting i went to it was like a joke i started seeing names on people over people's head I said this is strange don't ignore submission you will pay for it I know you went to school but let me tell you there are people who read let me not call the name of any course had that class but were connected to an ancient mantle that can manipulate realities and today they are working in NMPC They've been working in NMPC for decades with a past degree. They've been sacking anybody, but the grace that brought them there still keeps them. You would think they've been sleeping around. No, sir. Listen, before you submit to an authority, discern the graces at work. Discern the forces at work. Discern it. Don't just sit down and say, I am this, I am this. Whether you call, you say, Papa, you say whatever, you will never discern it. Discern it. How you know you are genuinely connected is that the results start reproducing in your life. Sometimes in a shocking way. Let me tell you, if we send a dog from Koinonia, dog, D-O-G, I carry this handkerchief and tie it on that dog. I promise you and I send it for a crusade people will rise up from wheelchairs and the sick the power of God will flow it's not about the dog it's about what is carrying there are some things that are not just based on your personal work are you getting what I'm saying now God said it's the year of triumph he knows that there are many things you don't know and if he's to wait just on some things that you need to know to prosper the natural way will take years before you really understand it but there is a system when he said it there was already a provision but you are refusing to tap into it because of pride pride I see favor every day in my life every day is one thing I know if you ever are looking for the grace for favor and you have been looking around and you are not getting it you are a liar and you are calling God a liar and God will not be happy with you because that grace is more than available it's just that people don't know it
there is nothing I'm wearing from my head to my toe that I bought with my money. No, plus my stockings, head to toe. Favor is real. You can sit and argue it in pride. Say it doesn't matter and sit down there. But you can believe and say, but Lord, this is possible. Your life changes automatically. Do you believe this thing I'm sharing with you? I've taught you two things today. The price to develop intimacy and the price of genuine connection. Genuine connection. Genuine connection. You come for koinonia here, you see manifestations of the spirit. There are people like that. They have reproduced it everywhere. Frankly speaking, they can tell you I'm in a meeting. Say, I didn't even pray, oh, honestly. I just said, Father, we give you thanks. And people started for even then they will go back and say, hey, but God, thank you for covering for me. It's alignment. It's alignment. When he dedicated the Jerusalem temple, he turned and said, Lord, whoever faces here, he didn't say if he prays well. Once he turns this direction and he aligns with this direction, please hear them. So when Daniel was in trouble, he couldn't depend on his personal work. He opened the gates towards Jerusalem and said, this is a matter of life and death. I can't afford to take risk and play with myself. Hallelujah. It is the Lord's doing. Then it is marvelous. Marvelous. Go to Ida and you, you, go, to, you go to Destiny Makers International, Pastor Alpha's ministry. It's like koinonia reproduced verbatim. Now, the shocking part, how you know this is grace reproduced, is that not all of them have come here. Let me tell you something about spirit transfer. You don't have to learn it. The anointing will make you do it. Are we together now? The anointing will make you think in a certain way. It will make you understand scripture in a certain way to produce certain outcomes. It's a year of triumph because there is a possibility for a transfer. There are some things you should never cry about in this ministry. One of it is the presence of God. One of it is the favor of God. One of it is the gift of men. One of it is the mantle for honor. One of it is revelation and understanding. One of it is prayer. One of it is influence. Do you not see the graces flying around looking for those with discernment to receive? The stranger comes, visits Koinonia once and carries that thing and goes back and their lives changed. There are people listening to me right now from Mubi. It was, I think it was yesterday I got the text. When I went there just a few weeks ago, I prophesied to them because their roads are bad. And I told them, I said, in the name of Jesus, I attract the attention of the government here to fix this road. Just yesterday, the governor was there and they commit you, you. Okay, you were there when we got the text. The governor came there, commissioned the road. See, let me tell you this thing. Don't wait till your life gets too bad. I know the dimension of the prophetic God gave me. It's called the creative dimension of prophecy. Creation. You make things happen. You program them in the realm of the spirit. You hear people come to testify here. It's not just about speaking. Brothers and sisters, don't delay your life by yourself. Our time is gone, but we'll go pray for five minutes. Rise up, everybody. Can we rise up and pray? Please rise up and pray. Rise up, we're going to pray. Prayer point number one. Father, help me to be serious with you. Genuinely. Lift your voice and pray. Please pray. Mambra gato shabra tus keleba husia na malada bash. Shabra kato sata brada kete kola da brada sada balada 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 bo. Pray. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Prayer point number two. I like you to pray genuinely and say, Lord, in any way I have not aligned genuinely, I align by faith. I align by faith. Lift your voice and pray. It's how greatness happens in the kingdom, brothers and sisters. Through authority, through alignment, believe in the Lord your God. So shall you be established. Believe in his prophets. So shall you prosper. hallelujah i know that our time is gone please give me two minutes anything that is in your life that you did not see in this ministry pray it out now and say you must go even if you are a visitor lift your voice and pray you must leave you must leave in the name of jesus christ you must leave by anointing of the holy spirit you must leave are you praying hallelujah hallelujah you now see the reason why when we welcome first timers we call them out we don't call them out just to clap for them i know that many churches they just identify them uh -uh. we call them out that little prayer you see in the name of jesus that i say everybody pray i can just pray alone it's not a ritual when i say everybody pray you are a benefactor of an anointing that should come to are we together now when we pray sometimes i say hold hands and let's pray that's the reason why i listen to every message i've told you I don't sit down and do any big manism because the things you hear me preach most times yes i prepared it and all of that but let me tell you the anointing that delivers those things are, is bigger than me i have to go back and listen by myself and receive the prophecy for myself otherwise i can be blessing others and never enter certain dimensions praise the lord please lift your hands our time is gone i want to pray for you lift your hands In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God, I pray for everyone here, honestly speaking, from the depth of my heart. I pray for you from today. I release you into a strange realm of favor. A strange realm of favor. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, receive it right now. Favor on everything you do. I decree and declare the kind of open doors you have never seen. I prophesy to your life right now. Receive it in the name of Jesus. I command, listen, mysteriously. Some you will not even be able to explain how it happened. I command the doors to open now. I command the doors to open now. I decree and declare the gift of man. If men have never risen to help you, I place that anointing on your life. Begin to enjoy the ministry of men. Enjoy the ministry of men. I pray for you. The kind of hunger God can put in a man, if you have never carried it, carry it now. Hunger is a fire. Carry it now in the name of Jesus. Carry it now in the name of Jesus. Carry it now in the name of Jesus. Hunger 
are for spiritual things in the name of Jesus Christ lift your hands I pray for you whatever makes people trivialize your grace there is a grace for honor and influence it's not by forcing people to honor you Shabakatos kapariatakata in the name of Jesus everyone genuinely connected to this grace carry that grace for honor carry that grace for honor carry that grace for influence go where your age cannot take you go where your education cannot take you go where your family background cannot take you I break every obstacle and I push you forward in the name of Jesus lift your hands I pray for your finances in the name of Jesus I hold this money in my hand as a point of contact I stretch it towards you in the name of Jesus the son of the living God I release you into a dimension of strange wealth I release you now receive it step into it I'm not talking of business suffering wealth by the finger of God I release you into it in the name of Jesus I command people you did not do anything for you didn't offer any value for them they will call you and bless you by the strange hand of God in the name of Jesus Christ lift your hands I pray for you many of you have never you have not seen it but I pray people will no longer just be giving you money I command that they start giving you items properties vehicles I command it believe it that something you would have saved for one year in one day I release that anointing upon you jobs you didn't apply for Shakatoka in the name of Jesus the son of the living God I create space for you in the realm of the spirit everything you have tried and tried to do everybody tries it it has made you mark time for years by prophecy move forward now by prophecy move forward now move forward now move forward now hear me any business here that is barren of customers nobody comes you are good you, your products your services right now from tomorrow morning in a strange way i command patronage for your business if there is anyone here you are anointed by god and god has trained you but no open doors for ministration no opportunity to bless people no opportunity for your grace to be recognized i declare let that veil be open now i command men to discern your grace and to take advantage of it there is a grace in this ministry that lifts shame i pray for you anything that represents shame in your life quarter to disgrace may the god that i serve arise and bail you out in the name of jesus some of you your family members right now they are at a point of intense shame if god does not help them the embarrassment will be too much i decree and declare may the god of heaven arise and do a miracle for them in the name of jesus worship him our time is gone thank you jesus please don't mix next week i will be showing you certain things all that deep things but please all through this week as you pray I'd like you to pray with understanding Lord I believe in you I believe in your servant I believe in you I receive what you have released that came through the word that is the word of triumph I receive it write down the things you want to see happen continue your praise over it you may not do it every day but where you have opportunity don't just dance anyhow write the request Lord these things must happen before December 
and I thank you. I worship you for it. And you watch. We are, we are doing a strange. Just cooperate with God and watch what happens in the weeks coming. Our last miracle service is by the corner. We are going to take it in this dimension until it gets to that time. It will be fire in this place. My goodness. My goodness. God wants you to testify. He wants you to know that he is God. Lift your hands and thank him. Father, we give you all the praise in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, please keep standing, everybody. You are here. You are not born again. You've never truly given your life to Jesus. Please, no moving around. You are here. You have not truly handed your life to Jesus. You've seen everything that God is doing. You've heard it. There are people here who have, maybe at one point you gave your life to Jesus, but things started going around in your life and you're saying, man of God, I want to run back. Our time is gone. Please, wherever you are, overflow one, two, three, wherever you are online, just listen to the prayer and then connect. Please, I want you to make your way. Come out quickly. We have just a minute for this. There has to be somebody who wants to surrender to Jesus. Make your way to the front. Whether you are inside, whether you are outside, God bless you as you come. The Spirit of God is bringing someone. Don't stop them as they come. The Holy Ghost is talking to you. Please keep standing. Stand up, my brother. So that there will be space. Come. Come. Quickly. God bless you. Thank you for your bold decision. Don't sit back and say, God understands. No. Just one minute. Clear the way for them, please. If you are coming, I want you to rush, 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 rush. Because I'm going to lead them to pray now. God bless you. God bless you. He's given you a new beginning. I believe there are still people outside. I believe there are still people outside. Don't let the devil cheat you in this culmination of this triumph that God is giving. Make your way to the front. Make your way to the front. It's a bold decision, but I salute that decision. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Those of you in front, I want you to lift your right hand. Say this after me. If you are joining them, please come quickly. Come quickly so that you follow in the prayer. Say after me, Lord Jesus say it again lord jesus you're joining them join quickly and say lord jesus i believe in you that you are the son of god i believe you died and rose again just for me tonight i hand my life over to you you are my lord and savior i believe in you and i receive your life into my spirit from today I am your child the holy spirit is within me i declare that i walk in victory all the days of my life in jesus name keep your hands lifted i declare your sins forgiven i declare that the hand of god is upon you his life is upon you based on the integrity of scripture i release you to a life of unending victory i command the forces that stand between you and your destiny to give way I declare that your life becomes a testament of glory, unfolding glory, ever increasing glory, the glory that excels in the name of Jesus Christ. Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.